Hi folks and welcome to uh, English One Academic Standing. My name is Nels Johnson. I'm sorry I couldn't meet you in person um, and hopefully next year we'll be back to the the normal sort of rat race of an in-person uh, back to school night. If you haven't had had a child at San Mateo yet, typically you, you would go to a class for 10 minutes. I would do this presentation with you in person. There might be a few questions, but the bell would ring and you'd have five minutes to go to the next class. So back to school night is introductory and informative. Uh, open house is a little different and there's an opportunity um, for people, although there is a bit of a bottleneck sometimes, um, there is an opportunity for people to get more personal information on how the student is doing. We do open house in spring, usually in, in April. All right, there's my background, and I, you can see that I've, um, I'm going on my 32nd year as a teacher now, and the bulk of my career, I've been an advanced placement literature teacher, and I have, um, I've moved from doing that to doing English 1AS one one at the freshman level. Um, I teach the analytical reading and writing that will eventually make a student successful in senior advanced placement. But there are differences between AS and AP. Um, there's four years of de development, definitely. And, and I think I've found in my experience that the kind of hard scrutiny of expository writing is new to most freshmen. So I tend to teach smaller pieces. Um, as I go. And, and, you know, when we look at the differences between, between the first two years of academic standing or honors English at San Mateo High, freshman and sophomore year, and then, and then the change that happens to junior and senior year is the introduction of the weighted grade. Um, this is a class that is enriched. This is a class that is accelerated. Um, I often think of the A in AS as more like accelerated. Um, and it's not to say, I don't know what the S would stand for there, but the, the idea again is that there isn't quite as much scaffolding and, and there's a, a higher standard on analytical reading and writing. Um, I, do, I will emphasize the grading scale is a four point scale for freshman and sophomore year and that opportunity to get a, a higher mark doesn't start until the junior or senior year. So again, we're, we're working on, uh, right now, students are reading stories in a packet. They are making inferences, writing annotations. Um, I've had some class vocabulary. We will have had two lists already, and we are working on and practicing um, analyzing passages and doing uh, shorter analytical or expository chunks. The literature in the class is very diverse. I don't have them in the order that I present them, but I have them in, in just sort of order of, of eras and genres. In the first term, we'll do short stories, In the Time of Butterflies by Julia Alvarez and 1984 by George Orwell. In the second term, we'll begin with Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, and there will be a research unit on greatness or heroism, and then Romeo and Juliet will finish the term. Um, it's real important to emphasize that half of the grade is that writing category, and the class is weighted. Um, it, the Classwork that is unscrutinized, like uh, Canvas discussions, Nearpods, um, pres like work that I present and, and get some interaction from students on going in the performance category. And tests and quizzes are largely going to be the diction work that, that students are doing. So it's, it's pretty essential that um, when you look at this, it's, it is possible for a student who is making B's consistently on the analytical chunks. And we're going to get, you know, the where, as I record this, I have my first chunks due, and I'm going to review the rubric with students in class. But it's possible to get 
to, to get B's on those and still do a good job on everything else and make an A in the class. And I, I, I would like to point out to you that in high school, although those minuses and pluses, um, well, particularly the minuses, I've noticed that students uh, find those really pesky because at, in middle school, you do get downgraded a little bit. I think an A minus might be a 3.7 or a 3.6. They have no bearing on the, uh, on the transcript and when your student self reports. And I think one of the things is as, as you move along in school, you'll find that the plus grade is the real nuisance. Um, and, and many times, you know, kids with C pluses and B pluses, they just constantly wonder like, what if, what if, what if I'd done a little better? Um, anyway, keep in touch with me uh, via email and I'll get back to you within a uh, couple of days. And I hope to see you in person at Open House. Thank you again.